Daniel was one of King Darius's three chief administrators. He was diligent and honest, and because he was so good at his job, the king decided to put him above all the other administrators. This made the other officers jealous, and they decided to find something with which they could get Daniel in trouble. But they couldn't find a single thing to pin on him. Nothing. Except maybe they could use his faith against him. So they went to the king and said to him, Long live King Darius! All the officers of the kingdom advise the king to issue an edict and enforce a law that for 30 days, anyone who says prayers to any god or person except you, your majesty, will be thrown into a den of lions. Now, your majesty, issue the law and sign the document so that it cannot be changed as per the law of Media and Persia, which cannot be annulled. Darius signed the law, not realizing what he had just done. Daniel heard about the law, but he would not stop praying to God. So as always, he went to his window that faced Jerusalem, knelt down and prayed to God three times that day. The administrators were waiting for this and immediately went back to the king. Your Majesty, they shouted, didn't you sign a law that for 30 days any person who prays to any god or person besides you, your Majesty, would be thrown into a pit of lions? The king nodded. So they continued, The Judean, Daniel, has ignored you, your majesty, as well as the law you signed. He says his prayers three times a day. The king was mortified and tried to find any way to save Daniel. But the law was airtight. That evening, the administrators came to the king and said, you must realize, your majesty, that the law of Media and Persia, including every law and edict the king has issued, cannot be changed. So the king gave the order, and they brought Daniel and hurled him into the lion's den. The king said to Daniel, I hope your god, the one you serve so consistently, will rescue you. The den was sealed, and the king went home, fasted through the night and couldn't sleep. And at first light, he rushed back to the lion's den. Daniel, servant of the living God, he called out. Was your God, the one you serve so consistently, able to rescue you from the lions? Long live the king, Daniel answered. My God has sent his messenger who shut the lion's mouths. They haven't touched me because I was judged innocent before my God. And I haven't done anything wrong to you either, your majesty. The king was thrilled. He ordered that Daniel be brought up out of the lion's den and commanded that the administrators be thrown in instead. Daniel didn't have a scratch on him because he trusted in God.